Hey everyone, welcome back to the Evolved Jeeping channel. For those who are new to my channel, my name is Dan and this is my 2019 Jeep Wrangler Rubicon. This video should be a fairly short and simple one because what we're gonna be doing today is actually a follow-up video with an update for a previous video that we did where we installed the Wolfbox G840S digital rear view dash cam system. On that previous video, you would have seen exactly how to install this system on a Jeep JL with all my recommendations and by doing the full mirror replacement where you remove the stock mirror and replace it using this bracket and the stock arm. Today's video, what we're going to be doing is doing an update because I came across a few issues with this system. So I wanted to highlight those issues and then show you how I believe I've solved them and what I'm doing to fix that. The first issue that we noticed with this system actually had to do with the image quality of the rear view camera for this system. This was something that we did not notice right away because it was not an issue during the day. This was only something that we discovered when we started using the system at night. Basically what was happening is at night when you had a car behind you, the lens of the camera would actually flare up from the headlights, making it impossible to see through the rear view camera in this mirror. What we're gonna be doing today is we're gonna replace this camera that came with the kit with the Wolfbox WDR upgrade camera that you can get for this kit and a few other kits. This is supposed to solve this issue and make the image a lot better at night. So we're hoping that this is gonna work. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna go put this on and then we'll regroup to see the difference between this camera and the other one. So what I've done is I've gone ahead and replaced the camera. The WDR is now installed and we actually installed it inside the cab instead of on this third brake light for two reasons. The first one is when we had the camera located here, we noticed that the weather would be more effective on the image quality and you'd have issues like when it would rain, a droplet of water would sit right on the camera and you wouldn't be able to see out that rear view camera. So we're hoping by installing it here, we're gonna reduce that from happening because the water will be pushed off by the window. In the previous video, you would have actually saw that I originally had it installed here and put it here. And the reason we did that was because of some glare that was occurring and because of the lines. Well, luckily with this camera, it has a different bracket. It's like a double bracket. So it actually gives you the ability to adjust it to miss the lines in the window as well as because it is the WDR, we're hoping that there's not gonna be the glare that occurs on the inside of the window because it's just a better quality camera. So the next reason that we relocated this camera was actually because of image stability. What we noticed was in the image, sometime there would be some shaking that would occur and it was kind of annoying over time. And we think that it was because of two reasons. One was because the camera was located here and either because of this mount itself or the spare tire or the wind coming through, the camera would shake a little bit. And we're hoping that putting it on inside is gonna reduce that. And then the other one has to lead to our next issue, which actually has to do with the mount. So let's go check out that issue and see how we're gonna fix that. For the mount, what we noticed was there's a little bit of play in the screen, which causes a little bit of shake. We think this is because of two reasons. First is this ball mount. You can see right here, it's got a little bit of play. And then because this bracket is not completely on the mirror and because of the way it was customized in the install, there seems to be a little bit of flex in it. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna pull off this mirror. We're gonna actually, as you can see, I don't have the screws. We're gonna finally put the screws in and we're gonna add a little bit of a fill here to prevent that from flexing. So let's go ahead and do that and then we'll move on to the next issue and what we solved.
So as you can see, we have the mirror reinstalled and it's definitely a lot firmer. It definitely holds in a lot better place. And that's probably due to the little sleeve that we added on this ball to make it a little tighter. The bracket reinforcement that we added is okay. It still has a little bit of shake to it. So I'm gonna have to look to figure out how to solve that and make it better. I think if I customize the mount or find a new one, that will solve this issue. But for now, what I've done along with the new location for the camera should be a little bit better. The next issue that we have has to do with the surface of the screen itself. It has a gloss surface. Well, as you can see, the screen is off. It definitely kind of serves as a mirror. You can see into it and see the reflection. But where that's a challenge is in certain light, when you have the image at the back of the Jeep with the camera projecting on, you also get the reflection. So you struggle to see which image it is. So what we're going to do is we're actually going to install this Wolfbox matte screen cover. This is supposed to take away that reflection and make it a lot better. That's gonna be similar to what I did with this screen here. So I'm hoping this works. So let's go ahead and put this on and then we can wrap this video up. Okay, so we have the matte screen cover on and you can see it definitely seems to help with seeing the image. There's definitely no more reflective mirror surface, which is kind of a disappointment because I did like the fact that I could turn it off and see behind. But after using it that way, I definitely know it's very difficult to see the actual camera image when this had a gloss surface. So the matte is definitely good. The one thing I'm not happy with is like, this was kind of a pain to put on so I would have rather than maybe send two of them so that if you do the first one and you mess it up, you have a second one. They only sent one with it. So kind of difficult to work with. So I'll probably end up getting another one to replace that. But for now, it kind of works. You don't really see the bubbles when the screen's on. So that's one plus. So yesterday we ended up finishing off by installing the matte screen protector. And at that point I was running out of daylight. So I figured I'd pause the video and finish it today. But that also gave me an opportunity to test out the three upgrades that we did to see how they improved the system. And I have to say they definitely improved the system and I would highly recommend them if you are buying this Wolfbox G840S system. The first one was the camera upgrade. And as you can see here, the stock camera that comes with this system is just not that good at night. It is not able to handle the direct headlights. It causes major lens flare and it makes it almost unvisible through the screen. Where with the WDR camera, this was dramatically improved and you can actually see the vehicles behind you. The next two upgrades that we did were the matte screen protector. This I definitely recommend because it reduces the amount of glare you get from either the headlights or the sun and gives you the ability to actually see the image through the digital screen. So I highly recommend this. I don't know why they just didn't make their screens all matte instead of having to apply a sticker. As I previously mentioned, I will need to get a new sticker because I didn't install that one correctly. So I'll have to get another one and do it in a nice clean area so that I can make sure it's perfect. The last upgrade that we did was improving the mount and relocating the camera. Those two together have definitely reduced the amount of vibration I get in the screen. It is not 100% perfect, but it is definitely better. And I'll definitely figure out another solution on how to improve this even more. So one of the things I was asked by a few people on my previous post about installing this system was they wanted to see the image quality of the cameras and what they would capture along with the image quality of this screen. So what I've done is I've actually put a montage together that will show you the different screen captures and options and view through the screen and hopefully give you guys an understanding of what this screen can do with 
this system the way I have it set up now. So I hope the montage video gave you a good understanding of some of the camera capabilities that this system has to offer. I also hope that this video has given you a good understanding of some of the upgrades I've had to make to fix some of the weaknesses of this Wolfbox G840S system. If you are looking to get some of these upgrades, I have put all the links below for all the items I've purchased. If you are going to purchase this entire system for yourself, I highly recommend that you purchase the matte screen protector and the WDR camera, or go ahead and purchase yourself the higher model that Wolfbox offers that probably already has the WDR camera included. So at this point, we're gonna wrap this video up. If you have any questions or comments, feel free to post them below and I'll do the best to answer them. As usual, please make sure to like, subscribe and share. And at this time, we will see you guys on our next video.